Hey everybody, this is Al Spath on the Positive Poker Insiders. Um, today I'm at a 50 cent $1 table over at Full Flush Poker. And we'll just tune into that right now. I just sat down a little while ago with $65. I sat out once I got the setup and everything. You see I've won a couple of bucks here. But I'm trying to get the 65 up to 130 Try to double my money here. And let me just move myself right underneath that star. And we are set to go on the recording here. Again, thanks for following us at Poker Insiders on your Twitch. It's Positive Poker Insiders, Facebook, uh, Twitter, everywhere and anywhere. I want to thank uh, Dave Romer for joining the squad here and joining the team. He'll be streaming in a couple of weeks. And uh, Ryan Postick. Uh, you may know him as Posse1972, has also joined. He's uh, going through a coaching apprenticeship right now, so he'll be streaming, and uh, I'll be uh, working with him closely and bringing him up to speed on things. He's got a lot of natural talent. No, I don't think I can fold here. That's a pretty good flop for me. I'm going to take a little time off. I know Gruber's going to probably pay $8 or something here. I don't think me raising here would be smart because if you re-raise with an overpair, I'd be priced out. Here he might price me in. All right. Let's hope John's still on a flush draw here. I'm just going to call because I want to hit the flush. Don't want to chase him. I'd love to see him bet six. No, he doesn't. I'm going to let some time go off and I'm going to try to bet six dollars and see if I can't get paid off or make him come over the top of me. Nope, not so lucky. But we picked, still took down $7 in the pot. Here we got a hand that's really not playable. That really makes us not play it. Again, if you look at the top of this overlay, which is done by Ryan, uh, Posse1972, he can do one for you if you're going to stream. I'm your positive poker insider, Al Spath. Fives. Fives is going to catch 9-8 for $19. Not a fan of this hand, even though I have great position and I might be first in. Poker lessons are available. Discounted poker lessons are available to those who use promotion code or promo code TEACH. T E A C H. Right there. TEACH. I got another seat open, but I don't need it. I've got one here, right here. I'm going to stay here. 4 6, not playable here. I like to get all of his money. I like to get jacked as I like to get everybody's money, but you know those things are, are dreams. You just hope you can do that. But you gotta be positive about everything. Queen six is definitely a fold. John continues to limp with his small stack. Surprised somebody's not raising him. But guys like this with small stacks like to limp in with 
decent cards with pairs. They they want to stack off like he stacked off a little while ago, and he, his fives held up. They're just waiting to get their money in. So Jack nine suited. It's not a bad hand. We're gonna raise it up. Not a great hand, being an early position, six-handed. But nobody seems to be taking charge at this table. Of course, if I'm raised here, I'm out of position, I'm going to let this go. Unless it's a middle, middle raise. See, that's I can't pay that kind of money here. I'm going to let that go. That's the trouble with playing these hands in early position. Most of the time, you're wasting your money. It's hard to fold those hands. But you have to. So you... Lesson learned there. This is easy fold. Today is Friday, 26th of February. It's a leap year, so we have 29 days this month. My special guest on the Sunday conversation will be Chris Fox Wallace today, or I'm sorry, today, Sunday. I'll do a promo on that tomorrow. So you'll have a video on that. And then next week, we're going to have a special guest, Stefan uh, Skrimitsu, I think is how he goes by on the Twitch channel, S-C-R-I-M-I-T-Z-U, $2, I'm going to raise this to 6 and he's going to talk to us about his big following on Twitch. And I'm just hoping he's got an ace queen here. Nope. So we had kings, we made a little bit of money. Got the position, got good cards. Are we going to face a raise in early position or not? Nope. Last time he did two, now he did two fifty. Let's, let's manage this pot a little bit. Big hand will come over the top of me here. You see? There's no way I'm gonna stack with him with ace queen. He got a big hand. He didn't let me see a flop. He might have made more money doing it the other way. That's why I'm, I noticed the difference in his raise. And I, instead of doing a full pot, I did a smaller bet just to manage it to see where I was at. If I could see the flop cheaply, great. Who knows? He might have had pocket queens and the flop would have came with a queen like that. And I would have had top pair and top kick and he would have had trips and took all my money. Maybe his re-raise was not wise. I feel a pair of sixes coming to me here any second. I hope, whoa, whoa, nine was really good. Sixes would have been better. Hope the poker world's been treating you very well. Uh, I mentioned that Dave Romer, the hitman, uh, all the Lango on Twitch will be streaming here off of uh, Positive Poker Insiders in a couple weeks, and he'll probably be over on ACR, which is great. Awful cards, awful position, and a walkover. Love it, love it. That's like free money. Let's just see what Jax does to a limp. I got one of my 
six as I said I was going to get. I didn't think he had the king. If you don't want it, I'll take it. I keep getting my one six. I need two sixes. I'm telling you, I need two sixes. Yes, I could have raised here with six nine. Six eight, I would have probably raised, but six nine, I don't think so. Another six. That's four hands in a row with a six. And I didn't get the two sixes yet. I feel like it's sixes are coming. You know how some people feel like East Jack Susan's coming. This is a six a six feeling. And again, if I lose it, maybe a sick feeling. Rob Gag always likes my crummy jokes. He just spit up his coffee in his mouth. Somewhere out there, walking a beat. Oh, didn't get a six that time. Got a little ways to go up 25, but I need to get 65 out of this. Need to get to 130. Whoa. -oh. Check raise. That's either a weak king or a flush or a flush draw. my opinion Not the best of cards. Jax hasn't done anything for a while. Okay, John. You check, I bet. Ten dollars, it's all going in soon, folks. Go ahead, Jack, she can have this one. These bets are really bogus. Ace seven or king seven? Six deuce. No. Nope. Horrible. Horrible cards. Good position. gonna run out here. Ten doesn't help anybody. Maybe King High Ace High wins? King High. Absolutely. Queen eight, not a good hand. Went to the movies today, so are Eddie the Eagle. Eddie Edwards from Great Britain who was in the Calgary Olympics and didn't medal but he sure did hit the fans on the side when he not only competed in the uh, 
two different ski jumps. He made them both. They're sure of British records. They're very well, were about half the size of the Olympic record, but it, it, he proved a point. He wanted to be an Olympian, and he represented his country well. And participation is what the Olympics is about. Eddie Eagle. Hugh Jackman's in that one. Young man from the Kingsman, if you saw that movie, he's in that one. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. It's all going in. It's all going in. Tens against what? Jacks against Ace King. Jacks are going to hold up and double up for the cream. But wait, he says, but wait. What about my Ace King? It didn't play. Greenville, South Carolina. Clarksville, Tennessee. Doesn't share. Wherever that is. And Vancouver, Vancouver, California. Give me a break. Four clubs. Pair on the board. Not a good hand to have. Hey! Don't put a queen clubs up there. And uh, now the 610 is good. about 17 minutes into this video gave myself about a half an hour to try to get there this is an easy fold 8-3 I'm out of position facing a raise cards aren't good negative 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 so it's an easy fold hand all right give me that pair I've been dying for I'm not yeah did get kings earlier. Made a couple of bucks, not much. Now, if Jax plays here, you gotta suspect he has at least a pair or a good ace because he has not played anything and he's facing this raise. So he doesn't have anything again. That's good enough to raise first in, but not good enough to call or re-raise somebody first in. Cream was quick to get in there. I would think, based on, just on the speed of that, I would think Cream has got something like Ace-Queen, Ace-Jack, pocket pair, possibility nines if he did have nines he would call but he's not there I would have top pair decent kicker but I think I'd still might be behind this guy there's an ace jack that's a nice starting hand for a change not the greatest I think he's getting ready to leave I'm going to give him a, a call this time. Not give him a chance to come over the top of my raise. And I don't really think this is a great hand. I'm going to give him rope. Queen, who knows? Couldn't get him, couldn't trap him there. These guys like to do a four dollar bring in. Let's try their four dollar bring in. Smoking on the button. He didn't like the clubs. I like the young small cards there.
Jax has now raised. Look for this to be ace king or better. Let's see. If it's a pocket pair, he's good. To be, but he's going to bet six either way if he's got ace king or if he's got a pocket pair. Well, three dollars is not a good bet there. That might have hit his hand. If it did, it'll bet eight. Nope. I hope he checks. I hope we get to see what, what it is. Not a hand. I would it cost me a dollar and a half for six fifty. So I'm getting a little over four to one, but I'm out of position and my cards are not good. I, I, I need eight to one I need seven, eight to one there for me to come in and cards maybe a little bit better than that. Sure I hit the queen, but that doesn't mean anything. John with 584. This check, this jacks, don't make me fold here. Here it comes all in. No, he didn't do it. I can't believe it. So you're going to put a dollar in of, of your five dollars, you might as well go the rest of the route. I know we're going to go three here. And monster hand. Out of position. Raises a re, ra, raises a, a razor, but I was on the button, so I could have been on a steal. But still, he hasn't played that many. You gotta just respect the table image of some people until they prove you differently. But I have a bad note on him anyhow. Look, he's a check raiser and bluffer. Call three bet with a seven off suit at times. So I know when he does bet, he does have it. When he's not screwing around, playing tight. A lot of people don't realize that spouses sometimes play a person's hand. You may have a, a, a note on somebody, but it might be the wife or it might be the husband. You don't know sometimes who's playing under that name. Yes, it happens. Also happens where, let's say John 333 knows a guy named Carlos or Nick or whatever, and they're at the same house and one guy plays it and the other guy plays it. So it, it's not always the spouse. Twenty four minutes in. 30 bucks up. What's up over 100? Just lost a little bit. This looks interesting here. Let's see what Jax wants to come back at. He says, I've got it. And he gets it. He takes it right back away from Cream. King 2 is a fold. All of a sudden, Jax became active, active. Nobody gets that many good hands in a row. Again, thank you for following me and Positive Poker Insiders up on YouTube, Al Spath. Just search it, find it, subscribe to it. It's free. Over 170 videos for your viewing pleasure. Oh, 
man. Ace is going to lose. John is gone. I don't, I don't think he reload. I don't think this guy will reload. I think he just go away. It's worth a dollar. It's worth another two dollars. or did he have something? We have to give that one up. He did try that against him a minute ago and then he fired back and won the hand. So we have to see a couple of his hands on showdown. Put a little mini raise in here. Easy fold. He's just occupying a seat here and which is screwing everybody else up because we're having to post additional time so he just needs to get the hell out of the seat. Where's my sevens? Where's my sixes? Not a fan, not a fan. Three dollars. Don't put your hands up in front of your face now if you call and you see two sevens or an ace five. It's going to happen sometimes. It's happened to me this week many times. See if he goes for that raise again here. Now I kind of think he's bluffing. This is an easy fold. Hopefully it's a walkover. Got somebody coming in. Oh, wait, two is the winner. Possibly. Somebody could have like a jack six of clubs. Come over the top, no jacks. It's the third time cream's done. There he came over the top. Let's see if he goes away this time. Two pair, you had about what? How many outs, folks? Think about it. Two pair. Ten? You had two queens, two aces. Are the board pairing? Three cards. Three cards.
Here was your favorite. Thirty minutes in. Jack's going to be tilty here and jam some $14, $15 down some people's throats. Yep, 12 Again, you got to be watching the table. you got to see what people have done. you got to think about what they might do and anticipate some bets. You're going to be right sometimes. You're going to be wrong sometimes. Easy fold. I don't think he has the 10. I think he'd have bet the first time with the 10. Not Flopper might have the 10. There's the 10. I, mean, I did have the 10. Cream did have it. Interesting. All right, I'm going to go one more time around the table. That should bring us to about 35 plus minutes. Give you a taste of the 50 cent one. I don't think he had a five back here. Sitting out, all of a sudden he's sitting out. <laughs> he sat with a hundred, he lost twelve, and he's sitting. That's an easy fold. Ten seven. That's Daniel Negreanu's favorite hand. Anybody see why? <laughs> before I'll see what he does now. Thank you. Got two or three more hands. Unless I get a big hand, I'm only going to get half my goal. If I'm first, I'm raising. If I'm not first, I'm folding. him in dollar fifty 
Remember, he called this raise here. It's doubtful he'll call this raise here. He does. That doesn't seem like that's the best plan. That's an easy fold. I think we're going to get one more hand here. Relax, I think, is waiting for the big blind. Take the star off so I remember it's done. Try on ace 10. We haven't had one of those. If maybe he doesn't post, we won't get to play another hand. And I'll thank everybody here to join me. Positive Poker Insiders. 6 3 is not a good hand. So thanks, everybody. We'll see you the next time. And don't forget Sunday conversation. This week is Chris Fox Wallace. I'll be talking to you soon. This is Al Spath, your Poker Insider, signing out.